We said at the beginning that cargo ships need deck space, both for carrying deck cargo and for access to their holds. So, that rules out a traditional rig, but how's about a modern alternative? One such option is known as a sky sail. It's basically just a big kite that's designed to catch the wind at higher altitudes and help to pull the ship forwards. In tests, long-term fuel savings of 5-10% are possible, but there are some limitations. It's a bit cumbersome, and if the wind suddenly dropped, you might risk losing it. Its operational parameters can be quite limited. Another option is to use aerofoils to generate lift and propel the ship forwards. One company is proposing to make inflatable wings rather than sails. When inflated, you angle them so that the wind blows across them just like it does on an aircraft wing. The faster moving air on one side generates a low pressure area, sucking the wing and the ship towards it. But if we're going down the line of aerodynamics, rather than catching the wind, an even simpler solution might be Flettner rotors. They use the Magnus effect to generate a force instead, in the same way that you curl a football by giving it a spin. When you place a circular shape in an airstream, the air will just pass straight around it. If you rotate that shape though, the air gets deflected so that it is no longer passing uniformly across the surface. Our friend Newton tells us that for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. If our action is to deflect the air in one direction, the reaction is that the circular shape experiences an equal and opposite force moving it in the other direction. On a ship, we can use the Magnus effect by fitting huge rotating cylinders at the edge of the deck. Fitting them here, clear of the hatches, means they won't interfere with cargo operations. You can even hinge them so that they can be lowered for the ship to pass under bridges. Surprisingly, these rotors are not a new idea. They were originally developed by Anton Flettner in the 1920s. 